Okay, going to present to you some facts that the left-wing liberal media will not show you about Islam. And when I present these facts, these are the kind of things that will get people labeled Islamophobic. And pointing out the fact of the Islamic kill count will get you labeled Islamophobic. You see, Islamophobia is just a word used by socially liberal fascists and communists to silence any legitimate expressions of criticizing Islam. Any, legit, any legitimate critiques expressed by rationally thinking people of Islam. They get called Islamophobic. Islamophobia is just a word used to silence, to shut down free speech, to shut down the discussion. Because if I have something, something critical about Islam, all you gotta do is just shout, oh, you're Islamophobic. You're, uh, you're preaching Islamophobia. And then that just, and that just silences the whole argument. That just controls the narrative. So Islamophobia is just a word used to control the narrative to silence any legitimate critiques expressed by rationally thinking people about Islam. It's used to silence any legitimate expressions of a critical view of Islam. Because the social liberals hate free speech. The social liberals and left-wing socialists and fascists hate free speech. They hate the idea of criticizing their golden calf of Islam. So I'm going to show this. Uh, this is from the religion of peace .com. Though, you know, I, I'd have some disagreements with them on some issues, you know, regarding, you know, sexual immorality and that kind of stuff. But this is the, they have some information about basically the Muslim kill count. Here is the Muslim kill count during the year of 2020. Okay, this is what the left-wing media ignores. Get a load of this. So this is the list, list of killings in the name of Islam in 2020. During this period, the year of 2020, there were 2,151 Islamic terrorist attacks in 54 countries in which 10,158 people were killed and 7,729 were injured. Get a load of that. The left-wing media ignores that. I mean, seriously. 2,151 Islamic terrorist attacks, 10,158 people killed, dead people, in other words. But the left-wing media just, oh, we, we, don't, we don't notice that. And plus you got the, the near daily Islamic genocide of Christians in Nigeria, the media turns a blind eye. Now, if this had been Christians doing this, I guarantee you the media would be non-stop, just 24-7. Oh, look, it's, it's the Christian right-wingers who are doing all Look all the, look, look who they're doing. I mean, look, look 10,158 dead people. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. It's going, the world's going to end. But if it's Muslims doing it, huh? I don't notice it. What, what's going on? They ignore this because they have an agenda. And if you point this out, you're called Islamophobic. Okay, here is the Muslim kill count just in the last week, just this week alone. Okay, from November 20th to November 26th of this year, just in six days. Look how much, look how much they've done. So there's been 30 terrorist attacks, 81 people killed, 75 people injured, two suicide blasts in nine different countries, just in the past six days. But left-wing media... If you point this out to them, they'll cut you off the broadcast. They'll, they'll cut off your connection. They'll call you Islamophobic. 81 dead people in the past six days alone from Muslim terrorists. Okay, here is the kill count of the month of October of 2021. During this period of October 2021, there are 111 Islamic terrorist attacks in 22 countries in which 577 people were killed and 603 were injured. 577 dead people from Islamic terrorist attacks, but not one peep from the media about this. And if you point any of this out, you're called Islamophobic by the liberals. You know? I mean, why is the Religion of Peace the only website pointing this out? They're, all the news sites should be reporting on this. All the news websites, I mean, you want to talk about some news? This is some good news for you. You should be reporting on this. But no, the left-wing liberal media has an agenda to cover this up. It's basically on a daily basis. I mean, seriously, 577 dead people from Islamic terrorist attacks, but not one peep from the media. It's disgusting. They want to cover this stuff up. They want to cover this up, and if you point it out, you're Islamophobic, you're a hate preacher, you're this, you're that, you're a bigot, you're, you're a hater, you're a racist. How is Islam a race? Criticizing a religion is not criticizing a race. And by the way, Islam's not a religion. You know, I've said this before. It's not a religion. It's a political ideology, okay? Under the guise of a religion. 
And before you point out, oh, what about the Roman Catholic Church? What about the Inquisition? Uh, Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Roman Catholicism, just like Islam, is a hybrid mix of paganism and New Testament truth. Islam is a hybrid mix of pagan Arabian religion mixed in with the Old Testament. And Roman Catholicism is a hybrid mix of pagan Middle Eastern, sorry, Roman Catholicism is a hybrid mix of pagan Greco-Roman religion mixed in with New Testament truth. Okay, Roman Catholicism has actually killed Christians like myself for following the Bible and not following the man-made traditions of Rome. Okay, in fact, Roman Catholicism, I dare say, is every bit as violent and satanic and bloody as Islam. Same thing with Hinduism. Hinduism is not much better. And I'll be doing some stuff on Hinduism in the future. Hinduism is every bit as violent and barbaric and bloody as Islam. That may be too real for some people to take. That may be too real for liberals to take. But that's the blunt and brutal reality of it all. So anyway, don't be deceived by the pro-Islamic narrative. Uh, read Genesis chapter 16, verse 11 to 12. It gives a perfect description of Ishmael. calls him a wild man, which is a good description of the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, the Muslims. And by the way, I don't hate Muslim people, okay? I want to see him get saved according to the gospel. I want to see him get saved and get born again. If I hated Muslims, I wouldn't be telling them the truth about their false prophet, Muhammad. You see, if I hated Muslims, I would just, you know, let them go to hell and not tell them the truth. But because I love them, I tell them the truth, okay? This is real love right here. Sometimes love, you know, sometimes it's called tough love, okay? Sometimes love includes rebuke, okay? Islam is satanic, and this is just evidence of that. Proverbs 8, verse 36, all they that hate me love death, and Islam loves death. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.